Hey, so this wig is gonna be on the We Queen hand braided twisted cornrow wig. Um, it is glueless and they sent this to me to do a review on. It, I believe it's about 28 inches. I'm not quite sure, so don't quote me on that. But as you can see, it does have a medium brown lace. I don't believe that this is transparent or HD. However, I feel like this lace frontal is very nice. Um, it comes with sparse baby hairs in the front. And also, as you see there, it has adjustable straps in the back, a comb as well, and then two combs in the front. The lace frontal, I wanna say, is about 13 by five. The back of the cap is mesh and it has track sewn onto it. So the wig is gorgeous as it is. However, I wanted to give it a little bit more spice to it. So we're just gonna add a little bit of color. I'm using a 1B30. Um, all I'm going to do is basically weave the crochet hair through the sewing needle and then we're just going to sew it onto the cap. It's very simple. I'm going to let you guys look at it. All I want to do is just add a little pop of color, you know, like a little peekaboo color. Nothing too major because I definitely did not want to weigh the wig down. I just wanted to add a little bit of color to And I like to do this method. Um, because if I ever want to go back to the all black wig, it'll be so simple just to remove the additional color and then I'll have an all black wig. One thing I definitely notice about this wig is it's not big head friendly. Um, it's definitely a snug wig. I did struggle a little bit with actually the placement of the wig because I felt like it was a little bit, it's not too tight, don't get me wrong, it's not tight at all, it's just, um, it's snug, you know, it's it fits to the T. There was no wiggle room or anything, um, but you can definitely wear this wig without gluing it down or using any type of adhesive, adhesive at all. You can just wear it with the straps. I did not um, I did not attach the adjustable straps in the back just for the simple fact. I just didn't feel it was needed because I am going to use the liquid bow hold. Uh, I think it's called liquid gold from bow hold. Um, but as you can see here, it looks fine without it. So like I said, you can definitely go without it if you feel that you know the need not to use it at all. But yeah, I am going to start with the bald cap method and I did put a little bit of cream um, foundation on it just to give it a little bit more tint to match my skin complexion. So yeah, I'm just going to spread this from ear to ear and then I'm going to place the lace on. Don't forget to blow dry it because you want to make sure that it is secure. So that's what I'm doing here. Just going to blow dry it, get it a little bit tacky, then I'm going to place the lace on it. So before I forget, if you guys are deciding that you want to order from We Queen, um, they are doing a sale promotion right now. If you order something for the price of $149, then they'll send you a makeup gift bag for as a Christmas gift. I was so surprised at how good this wig looks. I mean, who's wanna spend eight hours in the chair at a salon, not me, honey. Go pick you up a wig, get your hair done in a matter of about 10 minutes. Girl, you're gonna be walking out like you spent eight hours in a salon. Look at the hairline on this wig. It is so natural, realistic. It's a lightweight wig. And all I'm doing is just gonna put some flexible um, hairspray just to melt it a little bit more and give it more of a secure hold here. But after that, I mean, there's really nothing more to do to this wig. It looks great like it is. I did not have to go through and put additional concealer on the, in between the parts. I didn't have to do any of that. Um, I am gonna cut the baby hairs down because 
ba the baby hairs to me is just a little bit too long. Personally, I would have went without baby hairs at all, but you know, I just wanted to keep it on there, give it a little bit of flair, you know, add a little additional pizzazz to it. But I am gonna cut the baby hairs down shorter than what they are, and you'll see that in the next few clips. So the website says that this wig is hand twisted. Let me just say, whoever twisted this wig have blessed hands. Oh my God, so I was honestly feeling myself with this wig. The twisting of the wig is just, it was just perfection. I mean, the it was really flat on the closure. So that's one thing that I like, well I should say the frontal was really flat, I like that. And then I also like that it wasn't too thick, you know, the frontal, Sometimes you can do some twists or braids at the top and it's really thick. The only thing I would say is the wig kind of looked a little bit cone headish because I think when it got towards the back, it was a little bit more fuller. Um, I made sure that I made my hair really flat and I molded it down. I don't have very much hair, so it wasn't much to braid or do anything like that. So I just molded my hair down and put the ball cap method on. And I still noticed that it was a little hump in the back, but nothing too noticeable. I still was feeling myself in this wig. It, I got a lot of compliments on it too, so. And if you are interested in this wig, I am going to leave the link to the wig in my description box as well as all of the materials that I used in this video. So don't forget to check the description box. Everything I promise will be listed there. And you guys, do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you feel about this wig. Is this something that you feel you would actually go and purchase? I'm telling you, it's so convenient to actually have a wig like this i mean you can't really ask for nothing better especially for like those summer days you may be going on vacation here soon and you just want to you know throw on a wig real quick it's so simple and then not to mention if you're just you know chilling around the house and you want to look cute but you don't want to put too many too much effort into a hairstyle this is definitely a wig that you should go and try <laughs>